It's me defending myself because we caught up me. with Faye Bentley outside the Abbotsford courthouse and asked yeah, her about this attack. Don't f***ing touch me, man. You can see Bentley discharge the pepper spray, and these pictures show the effect it had on cameraman Kevin McDonald. That was the most pain I felt in my entire life, the burning. Bentley has lived at the camp on Gladys Avenue for more than two years. She Don't says here, off camera, man. she was pushed oh and claimed she used the pepper spray in self-defense. I'm by myself, so yeah, I'm carrying defense, of course. Well, I don't know how many clowns he's got hiding in his little clown van. But that explanation doesn't make sense to Abbotsford News reporter Laura Rogers. Rogers says she ran into Bentley minutes earlier. She threatened to smash my camera, and I said that I was legally allowed to take pictures in a public place, and uh, she ran across the street and started chasing me with a can of pepper spray. I definitely didn't feel that it was a situation of defense happening. Bentley has given interviews to CTV before, and her friends say these reactions aren't like her. With Faye, I mean, having some other things going on in her life right now, um, it was just a combination, I think, of all those pressures, and she made a very poor choice. A choice she won't apologize for. Do you feel any remorse at all when you see that? No, not really. Even no. though you, you caused that, uh, no. that kind of pain? That's probably really bad. <laughs> Bentley faces a charge of assault with a weapon. Her next court appearance is in November. Has. And John, this was on the same day the court ruled police cannot shut down the camp. What are police saying about keeping this area safe? Abbotsford police told me they will be watching the camp closely as they have for over two years now. Uh, but they're waiting for direction from the city on exactly what they're going to do. Meanwhile, homeless advocates say this ruling could make things actually safer in the long run. Because while police may not be able to shut down these camps, in the short term, it may mean that the city governments will have to find a longer-term solution to the problem of homelessness. Colleen? John, thank you.